I don't even know how to say this. I am so frustrated. I'm recording this at a, at a moment when my emotions are kind of intense about this, and I, therefore I don't know if I'm going to wind up publishing this rant or not, but I got this email from somebody just inflaming and, and, and exaggerating the attack on LastPass. They, they, now, I'm not going to try to minimize the actuality of what happened with LastPass, but the vultures are out and have been out. This, the subject line on this email that I received two days ago says, Cyber Attack Alert, LastPass Compromise Again, implying that it has happened again. No, it hasn't. There's nothing in this email that says that it has happened again since the two incidents in 2022. But this email is very clearly trying to give that impression. And that's what frustrates me to no end. And they have something to sell to you. So they are trying to capitalize on that. So here it says, hey, Doug. Now I'll point out a couple of grammar problems here. They got a space between my name and the comma. Well, that happened by automatic. <coughs> Their automated system somehow is a space after my name, I guess. Storage Guardian and our partners are actively monitoring the notice of a last pass compromise publicly announced Monday. This email came to me on Tuesday, February 28th, 2023, giving the impression again that this is some new compromise that they announced. No, I can find no such announcement from LastPass of a new compromise being announced that week. Already smarting from a breach that per put partially encrypted da login data into a threat actor's hands, LastPass on Monday said that the same attacker hacked an employee's home computer and obtained a decrypted vault available only to a handful of company developers. This is partially true. There's bits and pieces of that that are true. There's some implications in there that are not true. This is not, this is what happened back in 2022. Saying here their investigation is, is ongoing. Well, at this moment in time, two days after that email, it is not still ongoing. Actually, today is March 2nd, so it's more than two days, but their email was two days after their supposed announcement on Monday. I'm going to go show you what LastPass is currently telling us. Their investigation is ongoing, but they have achieved a state of containment, implemented additional enhanced security measures, and have not seen further evidence of unauthorized activity. So here's a little bit of, a, of an, an acknowledgement towards LastPass being responsible. Mitigation steps. Users must remain vigilant in protecting their online accounts and personal information without entirely relying on third-party services, such as LastPass, they're, they're implying, but they want you to rely on their third-party services. This whole email is trying to get me to buy their third-party services. While the threat actor could access some customer data and vault backups, the encrypted fields remain secured with solid encryption. They can only be decrypted with a unique key derived from each user's master password. We in, now this, 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 is, this just got me, we in Storage Guardian and our partners will continue to actively monitor for any indicators of compromise associated with this vulnerability. Now what I'm attacking here, at the, and I'm a little nitpicky here, I'll admit, but grammar here. We in Storage Guardian and our partners will continue to, that just doesn't make sense sentence structure wise. If you take out this comma, this comma, portion, that portion here, take that out. We in will continue to actively monitor. Yeah, it doesn't read right. When you have two commas like that, you should be able to eliminate that part and have a smooth reading sentence. We in Storage Guardian and our partners. Uh, maybe we at Storage Guardian without a comma. There's no point in having a comma there. I'm being picky there, but yeah, I'm just, they, they just got me annoyed with the way they're trying to inflame and capitalize on this. They're saying this last pass compromised again. No, this is not a new compromise. Their sentence here, implying this is something new on Monday. It is not new on Monday. Here is last pass's current report on the incident dated March 1st, which is after the date of this email, this email, February 28th, the very next day, this article from LastPass dated March 1st. Now I used the Wayback Machine to see if this page had something before March 1st. It did not. Editing Doug here. I realized while reviewing the video that I neglected to point out in this 
piece right here where they say, we have now completed an exhaustive investigation and have not seen any threat actor activity since October 6th. I want to point out, because I mentioned it earlier in the non-edited part of the video, <laughs> we've completed an exhaustive investigation. It's done. Everything completed, done. It's not an ongoing investigation anymore. Returning you back to the other Doug that's the unedited version. Now, what did they actually say what this email is claiming? They're saying, let's see, that same act attacker attacked an employee's home computer, obtained decrypted vault available only to a handful of company developers. Did LastPass actually say that? No, they did not. There is no link. This email provides no substantiation for their claim here. That just drives me nuts. Now, if I come over here and search on this page for uh, cryptid, I, well, I already got that up here on the screen. You can see cryptid. I didn't want to search for encrypted or decrypted. I want to see every occurrence of cryptid. So here, the data access from those backups included system configuration API, third-party secrets, and encrypted and unencrypted LastPass customer data. That does not say it, a customer vault. It says LastPass customer data. Now, one of the things that I heard reported from one of the other reporters is that they do have some unencrypted information, and that was the websites that a user would go to because that has to be unencrypted in order for LastPass to be able to do its work. So there is some unencrypted information about customers that are included in those backup databases, but it is not the password vault. They did not say what this email claims to have said, obtained a decrypted vault. They do not say that, that I have not seen any substantiation of that. And this just irritates me to no end. The vultures coming out to capitalize, they've got something to sell you, and so they make it sound worse than it is. Yes, it was bad, but there's there the, it was what it was. The, well, the devil's in the details, but the angels are in the details too. A lot of people have inflamed it to sound a lot worse than it is. They give uh, significant details in here about what happened on the employee's computer, and it, it, it shows very plausibly how that could happen and it also tells about what they have done to prevent that type of thing from happening again. So here's another case of decrypted. We are encrypted using our zero knowledge model and can only be decrypted. Well, that's not anything about a decrypted vault. This database was encrypted. So the, I, I just, I, I'm not gonna go through it all in detail because this, this video is gonna be way too long, but I just wanna put a word of caution, don't just accept what somebody is saying out there on the internet or an email as factual. Go look at the details. A lot of times, particularly if somebody's got something to sell, they will inflame it and, and exaggerate it or take bits of truth and bits of mixed up words to piece it together in such a way that it sounds worse than it is. Ah, this the computer industry and politics. Oh, it just it just all drives me nuts. I don't know if I'm going to publish this or not. It's a rant on my channel because I have something to sell, right? Uh, well, not money wise, but just my YouTube channel. I respond to people's questions that come to me by email or in comments on my videos or in the chat room. I have six live shows each week so I can give pretty quick responses to your questions that come through. Mainly what I'm trying to do is Windows topics, problems that you're having with your computer. The broader industry at large like this topic is not such a regular thing on my channel. But anyway, that's how you can reach me. I hope this was useful. Have a great day. See you later, alligator. Goodbye.